Hello, welcome back to Hughes Nursery, a place where you can learn to grow organic food and cook uh, with the food and vegetables that you've grown. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to protect your plants from frost. And here's just a really uh, quick example of how when temperature gets below freezing, even inside this polytunnel, um, the damage it has on the plants. So, um, a lot of plants, like especially ornamental plants, aren't actually very hardy. And if you do get uh, frost, some like out of the blue, uh, you could lose, you could lose your uh, prized plant. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do to protect them. Now we have leeks here. They're a very hardy vegetable. That's why you grow them in the winter, and then you're going to be uh, pulling them up, uh, well, during the winter and the spring. Um, but just. Uh, when, um, say, for potatoes, for example, they're not so hardy, and you know a bit of frost can just kill off um, the young growth. So, like with young shoots and stuff, all you need is one of these fleeces, and you just like think there's going to be a blanket, and then you just place a blanket over them. Uh, you can either weight it down on uh, each side by using some rocks. I'll do that now quickly. And so here is an example of it when it's all put, it, uh, put in. Uh, you can also use like a staple gun and staple it, uh, but I wouldn't really because, say, you're only planning to have a, the last few frosts of the spring. Uh, just just make sure that it's uh, on quite firmly and it'll stop just a couple of degrees of frost because it's insulating the plants. But uh, for more heavier frosts. Um, this is when you're going to be using the next method. So the next, well, final main method is uh, by using this. Uh, either straw or hay. Now if you don't have any access to this, you still have a garden, I'll just leave like a two square meter patch of grass just to grow long and then cut it and let it dry off. Uh, just if you have a couple of plants um, that need to be uh, looked after. Now how this works is that you either put it just around the uh, stems like you just lift it up and put it around the stems of the plants like that that's uh, one way of using them just to, like keep it warm like that and another, another method is um, for if you're just going to keep it over for one night and uh, examples like this could include rhubarb you just get the whole thing and carefully put it over the whole plant and that's only just going to be using it for um, just overnight or a couple of nights because you don't want to suffocate it from uh, light or carbon dioxide uh, so another thing so just carry on just lifting up all the foliage and gently pressing it round like that and that's just a really good way to help uh, keep it safe from frosts um, so remember, if you are a bit worried about the foliage, you can just build up the pile around it. Just leave a bit of gap, but just build it up. And this is a really effective insulator to stop any cold air. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's just meant to be really simple because it is a very simple thing. You just got to think about the plants and what you, uh, what temperature it's going to be. Um, generally, below freezing point, you're going to use... Uh, the fleece method and then uh, another couple of degrees uh, lower than that you're then going to use onto uh, some straw uh, some other alternatives uh, could be just laying down uh, carpet over the top uh, you can also use I don't know well many other things as well just uh, stuff that's quite fibrous thick and uh, quite quite a big volume of it so Thanks for watching and see you again soon in another video. Goodbye.